Welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuckery on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Today on the show, when will the Falcons find another 1,000-yard runner? Also, I've got a lineup change that's a pretty easy fix for the Braves. And trading for this guy, for the Hawks, seems like a no-brainer. I'll explain all of that and more. Busy Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery. Part of Locked On Sports Atlanta. And it starts now. Welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuck. We're here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. We thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We want you to head over to YouTube.com, subscribe to our channel, Locked On Sports Atlanta. We want to let you know that we are literally just a few people away, not even 10 folks away from 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So in just barely a month, we've been able to hit 1,000 folks. We thank you so much for being a part of the community it's awesome. It's ever growing. Be a part of it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. You know, I was looking at some numbers for the Atlanta Falcons, and obviously with a guy like Arthur Smith in place, you would figure that running the football would become more of a high priority, right? He comes from being the offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. That's the only offensive coordinator spot that he had taken. In fact, you know, he really came up through the ranks with the Tennessee Titans. He had started out coaching just the line and did some other things and just moved his way up to being their offensive coordinator. And then, of course, got the gig here in Atlanta with the Falcons. Now, their offensive identity was pretty straightforward and cut and dry. It is, we have Derrick Henry, a 2,000-yard running back. We're going to feed him the rock. Yeah, we'll throw it some. We got A.J. Brown. We got Tannehill. You know, we got this, beep, bada, boop, bop, bop. but our identity is we're going to give it to Derrick Henry and we're going to lean on him. And he's our 1,500, 2,000 yard running back. Got me to thinking about the Falcons because running back has been just sort of a, a wasteland by and large. In the last 10 seasons, the Falcons have only had two 1,000 yard seasons. Now, that was Devontae Freeman in 2015 and 2016. So in the Super Bowl year, Devontae went for over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, and he did it the season before. When I say 1,000 yards, we're talking like 1,078, 1,056. We're not talking 14, 1,500. It wasn't like the glory days of Michael Turner. It was just a little bit less than even 1,100 yards in 16 games, but it was a 1,000-yard runner. So in the last 10 seasons, the Falcons have only managed two 1,000-yard seasons for it. Will that change with Arthur Smith and the identity of this team? As you look at transitioning away from Matt Ryan, and I've always said, until Matt and Julio and some of these guys leave, we're always going to be a pass-first offense. You don't have Matt Ryan to just turn and hand it off, especially Matt Ryan in years 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You don't have that kind of quarterback that's thrown for, you know, 57,000 yards to just turn and hand it off. You have to run the football effectively, okay? I'm not discounting the run and its importance to the offense, but the idea of being a run-first team with Matt Ryan and Julio and guys like that and Ridley and all that just is not realistic. Just It's not realistic. That's why Matt's averaged 600 pass attempts on average over the last four years, and he's had more than that in seasons before. But – now it changes. Now, now there's a new identity and a new group of guys and quarterback, and it's a remake of the roster and things like that. What do we expect from some of these running backs? If we look at the guys that they have, obviously Cordero Patterson re-signed for a couple of years. He was their lead horse last year, but he was only 618 yards last year. Wasn't like he had, you know, 1,100 yards himself. Now, again, 618 on the ground, 548 in the air, 11 total touchdowns. I got no issue or problem with Cordero Patterson and finally got exploited in an offense and had some good results out of all of it. But it's a 618-yard running back. 
The other guys, Damian Williams that they brought in, he's 164 yards last year. Obviously, Tyler Algier is their draft pick out of BYU, led the country in rushing touchdowns last year, 15, 1,600 yards rushing in college. We'll talk about all that in a second. And then a couple of last guys, they brought back Kadri Allison and they brought back Caleb Huntry. A couple of guys who got chances, the, the Falcons obviously drafted Kadri Allison and Huntley was a guy who got a little bit of run toward the end of last year and did okay. But it still doesn't feel like we have our identity on offense and especially in the running game. Now, part of it is we don't have our offensive line fix. Besides the fact of having Derrick Henry, the best running back in the NFL, the Titans also had one of the top four or five offensive lines in the NFL. When you've got Lawan and Conklin and all these guys, you know, your line was loaded in Tennessee. We don't have that here. We're Mayfield, Hennessy, McGarry. You know, I've got two competent, you know, above average offensive linemen. I've got one barely hanging on to his right tackle spot and two guys that first and second year guys that are, you know, below average or in Mayfield's case, arguably the worst at his position in the league. Will that get better? Okay, yes. He won't be the worst player. So if the bar is Jalen Mayfield won't be the worst interior offensive lineman in the NFL, will he be better this year? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. How'd you like to play, Mrs. Lincoln? Um, but their offensive line isn't fixed yet, and they don't have that kind of bell cow back. Now, understand the NFL and how you run the football is a totally different thing than it's been. But it doesn't mean that you can't or shouldn't have a very effective running back in your in your backfield. Yeah, you got some committee and things like that, but you still have a lot of teams that that have their lead guy. Look at the Cowboys. The Cowboys have two very good running backs, but you still have Zeke leading the way, right? He's still the main dude that that's in there when he's healthy and all of that kind of stuff, but still that main guy that you turn to. I'm going to be curious to see sort of what their identity is moving away from Matt. I don't think you have a guy who's going to run for a thousand yards in your backfield. I think you have a bunch of guys that two things that they profile. One is you might have some guys who can help you get some short yardage. And two is some guys who can help you in the passing game. Patterson can help you in the passing game. Algier caught some passes uh, in college as well. I think you have some guys that can help you in the passing game. What I want to see more than anything in the running back room is run the football effectively. You know, we're not going to be a team that's going to be able to line up on third and two like we've had to do a million times in the past line up in third and two, shotgun, five wide, empty backfield. We got to throw it around to get it. You don't have the quarterback. You don't have the personnel to be able to do those things. So the idea of running the football more effectively, you know, obviously trying to run it maybe more. And, and part of that is you have a quarterback who can also use his legs to, to help you out as well. But I'm going to be curious to see if anybody can emerge in the running back room. I like Allison. I hope he gets his shot. I hope he gets a real shot because at some point, you know, when you get talking about Allison, he's a draft pick from a few years ago. It's either time to crap or get off the pot, either time to start figuring some things out in the league or we got to move on. Okay. Williams is a guy that they're trying to resurrect, you know, his career. Some, what can he be? Algiers, a guy they drafted. Okay. Can he match some of his production in college? to the NFL level, you've got some, you got some guys who can be physical with it, but I don't think we found that bell cow guy. I don't think we have our thousand yard running back. Now, one quick note to, to consider next year's draft is loaded with good running backs. Bijan Robinson could arguably be a top 10 pick in the, in the NFL draft next year. Jameer Gibbs, Zach Evans, there's all kinds of guys that are coming into the league next year. The running back class is much, much better. So we'll see what happens, but I think the offensive philosophy for, for this team is going to change, and I'm going to be curious to see if one of these running backs can emerge for the Falcons. All right, when we come back, I'm going to tell you a guy that supposedly is on the market, maybe linked to the Hawks. This seems like a no-brainer when I tell it to you. It's hitting hard with John Chuckery on Locked on Sports Atlanta.